Tim here. Well, it's a cool January day here in Arizona. I've had the ambulance a little over six months now, so I figured it's an update video. Uh, just to give you an idea of what's been going on with the ambulance and what I've changed and added. Um, first off though, I want to say that I live in this full time. I travel in it. Um, I don't have a shop or a home or some place, you know, where I can work on it and, you know, then go out on the road for a few videos or a few, you know, to make my videos. I, this is my home on the wheels. Uh, all my tools, everything is here and I do the work on the vehicle wherever I can. Um, so let's take a look at it real quick. It is a 1985 Ford F-350 and it's a former search and rescue vehicle from the uh, Sheriff's Department in Northern Arizona. Um, it's a it's a tough vehicle. It is four-wheel drive and let's just kind of look at it really quickly. It came with the awning. Um, excellent shape. It's great on days like this when it's just kind of a little drizzle. It came with this table um, which is kind of a it's an aluminum heavy thick aluminum it folds up flat against the side of the vehicle uh, there are some ports they had for computers um, I'd like to switch that out maybe put something in there where I can put plug in uh, uh, USB there's a couple little speakers as well all the lights work on the vehicle uh, it's got some steps there And around the back, um, I've got a little trail bike on the back right now. This cab, or this, uh, just goes into the inside. There's no box or anything. It's just kind of a pass through to the inside of the vehicle. Um, this compartment is a long compartment. I've got the ramp for the bike. Um, tie downs, just you know, levelers, broom, fishing pole, um, just a lot of miscellaneous things that you know, a hitch that I can use for the vehicle. This compartment I use for chemicals, um, parts, pretty much. Um, you know any type of cleaning or additives or you know jumper cables hoses you name it it's in there this compartment I use for a lot of camping type stuff um, I've got a big tripod in here for the camera but most of it's you know sleeping bag a uh, little shovel an axe backpack little chair just um, kind of your outdoor camping type stuff this compartment is one of the largest, and this is where I keep all my tools. Um, toolboxes, a lot of supplies, you know, um, things that I might need to, you know, if I'm working on the vehicle. Uh, not, not so much automotive, but more like inside if I'm working on, you know, a shelf or something. Uh, vacuum cleaner, extension cords. Um, just parts you know this is all nuts and bolts this is all electrical and then all the tools uh, air compressor and the jack and the heater which I can't really run unless I'm plugged into shore power I don't have enough solar yet for things like that uh, it does have a setup for shore power um, the cab is basically just an old you know your standard Ford F-350 cab uh, with the exception of in the middle there is the the switch for using the different batteries it's got dual batteries under the hood so I can turn them both on or use one or the other or turn everything off you know if I don't want to drain the batteries um, and then there are some switches to control the lights on the outside uh, gauges or switches and stuff for the battery. I've got a little solar panel here that I 
have charging just kind of like a laptop battery and then uh, the, the pass through or the walk through into the back is right there and that is Twinkie my traveling companion partner Uh, a lot of little things that need to be done, such as I need to replace seals, uh, window seals, this whole seal that goes around the the the, the box or the cab. Uh, I think it's actually black, so I need to eventually pull this off and put a new one on. And uh, it is a big block 460, so it's not the diesel. Um, that would be nice, but not not in this case. Um, so it's got plenty of power, but it also uses plenty of of uh, fuel. In here is a battery that is uh, connected to a solar panel on the roof. It's an old solar panel, so it doesn't really produce a whole lot um, that battery I use it mainly may I guess for charging things like the phone and batteries it doesn't have I I'm, eventually will get a couple more batteries uh, I'm not sure what kind and maybe three or four hundred watts of solar on the roof uh, right now it's just got a single panel that just is really old and not efficient um, when it is plugged into shore power uh, I can also I can then plug devices or equipment or things into those and use them um, when it's in plugged into shore power also it it charges this battery as well I've got a little uh, battery charger on there and um, there's another compartment right here this one has quite a bit of odds and ends uh, top shelf is clothing winter gear um, laundry there's a uh, portable toilet you know a bucket toilet basically which I haven't used in the behind here um, just to, for emergencies I don't know if I'll ever use it but it's good to have a griddle right here as well as I usually have my other stove which I've got set up over here uh, in here and then just supplies like plastic bags, water, um, pet supplies, all in there. So let's take a look inside. All right, I've got a mirror, it's just a IKEA mirror mounted here, right here on the door. And let's go inside. These two compartments, our doors, go to the outside. There's one behind here. Uh, which I showed you that tall compartment so I can access it if I need to get to things like clothing and I don't want to go outside I can just uh, open it up here and get to everything in there it may get changed eventually um, I took out the air conditioning and heating unit up here it ran off of the uh, the engine and it was just really old didn't it was just taking up space. I never used it. I don't even think it worked. Um, so I took it out, and there's a lot of room in there. I put a, a floor or a base inside, and right now I'm just using it for storing food. Um, I'm going to figure out something better to do, but for now it's a great place for putting some food. Um, let's see. I've got a portable EVAP cooler here. When I'm plugged into shore power, I can in the summertime that cools the inside quite well. Um, just got some hanging stuff next to it. There's the pass through, and this is kind of my kitchen area. It's a little messy. Um, in here is just uh, pots and pans. Up here is the solar controller I guess the charge controller it's really old and then there's just a lot of empty room there more switches here that can be controlled from either up front or back here pretty old um, 
and uh, but they control the lights and and different uh, small items that they were using in here. Again, kind of a mess kitchen area right now. Uh, bowls, cups, water bottles, measuring items, uh, utensils, plates in here. This is my fridge for now. Uh, just a cooler. I don't really use a lot of stuff yet. Eventually I will get one of those nice, you know, Dometic or uh, whatever. One of those um, kind of overlanding type fridges that open on the top that I'll be able to run when I have plenty or enough solar to run it. Um, this is, you know, spices, uh, honey, you know, coffee stuff, miscellaneous cooking stuff. Below that, this open area, there's a printer in there, kind of office supplies. And uh, this table, I think I mentioned in a previous video, came out of an RV. Somebody gave it to me. It folds down. It's great for using as a desk or for eating. Um, eventually, I will get a monitor that I'll have mounted right here that it will double as a TV as well. And it'll be on an arm so I can swing it out and access things behind it like the printer. And uh, this is kind of a mobile office setup that I would like to get set up to be able to work on the road a little bit better. Right now I can't use most of this unless I'm plugged into shore power. Up there in this compartment is toiletries, hygiene stuff. Uh, next to it in this long compartment is miscellaneous. There's helmets, just a lot of miscellaneous stuff for traveling. This compartment has clothing. Um, the top shelf is uh, underwear, socks, below pants and shirts. And in that compartment right there is photography. Um, just a lot of photography equipment goes in there. There's my battery. She's trying to get comfortable with all the blankets that I folded up nicely. Um, still haven't figured out where some stuff goes. This backpack down here is just when I put my computer in if I go somewhere to use it uh, like a library or Starbucks that Pelican case is all GoPro equipment and then behind it is the my longboard um, a lot of times Twinkie my dog she'll sit down here on that blanket eventually I'll get her a little doggy bed she can sit in she likes to look out the back window um, so I don't have it covered up and it's nice because at night she'll watch the, uh, the little trail bike you know, or anybody that comes around the vehicle back there and she'll growl and let me know if somebody's around. Um, the windows, I have blackout curtains I can close at night and then that window down there um, kind of behind the, here is uh, I cover it with a styrofoam type material to insulate it and to keep uh, you know the light from coming out or seeping out. Up here, I put a shelf in, uh, something I picked up at Home Depot, just one of those closet shelves. So I can put books up there for my library, uh, miscellaneous books and maps and things in this box. I added some LED lights right here, which at night, usually I'll just use either of these LEDs. And there's a battery, you can see that laptop battery right there uh, from Voltaic Systems that gets charged off the little panel on the front dash but I'll usually use just the LED lights here or this hanging light right here I don't typically use these ambulance lights they run off the the batteries the uh, the vehicle batteries so I don't usually try to use them much um, I, I want to use everything that's solar if possible uh, behind the, the chair or the couch here is um, just a thing that I put blankets in, this netting that hangs from the shelf, uh, extra blankets. And uh, at night, my, I'll put my phone up there as well to keep it near. So this came out of an RV. I think it was a fifth wheel or some sort of travel trailer. Um, it folds into a bed, which is really nice. A lot of times I'll just leave it 
in the bed form instead of setting it up like this. Um, got all the, all the blankets are kind of right here now that I use at night. And uh, I've got it raised enough where I can put a lot of storage underneath. Uh, long-term type storage compartments or containers. Stuff that I don't get need or get too much. See my shoes there as well. Um, these are, again, they go into the windows on the doors. Uh, one for the bottom and one for the top. They insulate and they also add privacy. Um, and there's room also behind here that I can put things, items. Uh, I've got a little broom. This I use if I'm plugged into shore power. It plugs in right up here. And I did add the uh, the Max Air fan. And here's the remote for it. Um, that a friend of mine at Little Dealer Little Prices, which is a large RV dealership in Arizona, uh, gave me. Works great. For, um, you know, ventilating. And you can see I've got these netting, or these, these hanging down here. Um, they just, you know, this one has got mostly like toilet paper, cleaning, you know, hand stuff. It's just uh, basically stuff that, you know, I want to get to easily. Same with that. It's just got a, a hammock. You know some goggles um, so it's just a nice place to hang stuff and use this bar that was already in the ambulance and uh, so I'm trying to think if I missed anything um, this was an opening behind it there's some communication equipment that they left in the ambulance um, so I just put some of that styrofoam board from uh, Home Depot in there to, to close it, keep, you know, help insulate it a little better at night. There is also stuff behind these doors, electrical type stuff that if I ever need to get to. And, uh, well, I'm not sure what else I might add. It's still a work in progress. It'll probably always be a work in progress. That's, it is my home. Um, it is, uh, livable for one person, you know, like myself and a dog and it's, you know, great for boondocking or just getting out of, out of town and away from everything, which is what I prefer. I'd rather be out here in, uh, get my shoes on out here on BLM land, um, than any place else. And uh, you can see the flag that I put up. Um, that pole extends out uh, when I'm not using it, when I'm traveling, it fits into the, the compartment, the long compartment. Uh, it's kind of a marine type pole, some sort of aluminum used on boats. Uh, um, the flag as well came from a, a boat. So whenever I stop somewhere and set up camp, I like to raise the flag and and uh, let everybody know uh, what's going on that I'm here and this is home for a while um, but this is kind of I'm not one of these big channels I just wanted to add also that you know you see a lot of these channels on on YouTube um, and they they're big channels and they, they do some really great stuff but a lot of them are just you know selling products they're they're not really living the lifestyle. They're not really living that van life or that uh, nomadic life. Some of them are just doing it um, for the, you know, either to monetize their videos or for sponsors. I don't have any sponsors. It would be nice, but not yet. My channel's not big enough, I guess. Um, but I really am, like some people, I, I really enjoy the freedom and the independence of living like this and being able to park out in the middle of beautiful you know beautiful land um, where I'm at right now it is a little dirty this is kind of a on the weekends it's actually a shooting range people come out here and shoot their guns um, 
but during the week on days like this where the weather's like this I'm the only one out here and so I can enjoy it um, but as I was saying you know there's a, there's a big community of RVers uh, travelers nomadic type people um, people who just like to get out and explore and adventure and and overlanders as well and there's they these communities all overlap in so many ways and share so many things and uh, that's what I hope to do is share what I'm doing and and I hope people will enjoy seeing the progress on the vehicle and uh, what I can do with it and what I plan on doing with it and hopefully it'll inspire some folks and give them some ideas as well thanks for watching